Hey ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to another Rate My Monsters on Summoner War. Um, Summoner's War. <laughs> I remember this from the first episode, or the first video I've ever done on YouTube. You guys can maybe go check that out if you want to. But um, without further ado, I want to get back into this. Really, it's been about two weeks since I've done my last episode, and you guys seem to like it a lot. It seemed to kind of make some people more informed, and that's basically what I like to do with this, so <clears throat> let's, oops, I don't want to do that. I have been kind of inactive in this game, haven't really been playing, but I decided that we should give it a shot, so we're just going to go to the person's place, I don't know, um, and kind of see what their monsters are, see what their build's looking like, and you know what, what would be a, a good setup? So right off the bat, you can see they have Beth, 6-star, maxed out. Um, obviously, it's a natural 5-star monster, so you can make the assumption that this is probably a good monster to get. Um, you can see about 2,500 attack, 2,400 attack, somewhere around there. Um, so built well for offensive capabilities, not high crit rate, crit damage, um, decent defense. Speed is about 130, yeah, 137. That's okay. Now, guard and endure, I don't know. I know you have right here attack 10%. You definitely boosted that rune up a little bit. I don't know if this is this. It's it's a broken set, so maybe it's not what you need. I'm not sure if she is completely built. To be honest, I hope not. Looks like she's completely maxed out, though. In that case, for, for Beth, that's good. Um... Still, I don't know if this is the kind of rune set I would probably put on mine, but that's okay either way. Next up, you have Wusa. Again, 6-star everything um, maxed up. This looks like a poorly built monster. It ha Well, it, it is all attack, but still, that's useless, really. Um, defense, attack. I, I'm not sure where they were going with this one. Maybe... Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, if this is your bet, see, you should be building your bet for attack, not necessarily your Wusa. Um, in my opinion, I'd switch them around, probably give them a little bit more HP, make them tankier because it looks like right now you have really good three, uh, you know, these three, five, yeah, natural five star water monsters, but it looks like you're suffering HP wise for him. And, again, this guy should at least have 30,000 HP. Doesn't look like you're even close. Uh, oh, God. Um, oh, Jesus. Again, ladies and gentlemen, please put percentage stats on your runes. Don't do this. Please don't do this. Put percentages only on 246. Um, he doesn't need Fatal. He's not maxed out at all, so... I think you should be focusing on your attackers, so I guess Beth is probably the best option. These guys, nice job getting them to 6-star. I don't suggest you move them any further because for right now, because you can't afford to ruin these guys up. Um, Water Undyne, I don't know what you were going for doing this. This was kind of surprising to me that you would do this. The runes, I don't even want to check them, but we will just in case. And um, Okay, I I really have no clue. I have no clue. My my best guess is that they're still building, but I mean, there's a decent amount of six stars on this account. I think he has more six stars than me. His runes are just awful. I've said this before, Chloe, no matter what she is, she does not need HP. She needs speed. Now, you can use HP for building her tanky, but if you want her to be used the way people are using her in the meta, give her full speed. I'm talking 200 plus speed, and that's not difficult to get 200 plus speed with Chloe, because then she'll go first, and it doesn't matter how much HP she has, because that first turn is all you need, and then you bring in a tanker, like, or, uh, it's not a tanker, a glass, glass cannon, um, like, Lucian, oops, I am sorry, hold on, yeah, a cannon like Lucian to come in and take, take him out, um, and, and, you're not dependent on her HP as much. Um, looks like he was built pretty well with HP. Um, I like the the route that they went. Again, Fatal, I 
don't like, I really don't like these runes. Um, the HP is there, but the Fatal is just, uh, what are you doing? Your speed is awful, so I don't, you can't make the excuse that you were going for speed. But, I mean, optimally, you want speed and HP on Bella. For this, I'd say straight up HP, um, probably HP and, you know, defense. And Undyne, it's not finished yet, so I can't really, I'd probably go ahead and say HP and speed. but. Still, she's pretty low speed. Um, Rena, please don't six star this. I know you're probably not going to watch this video, but don't do it. Don't waste your efforts. This, probably just food for Chloe, to be honest. Uh, Neo Stone Agent, this is a good monster if you can build her. Doesn't look like she's even close to being built. I would say pass on her all together for now. You need to work on different monsters. Um, Megan, great monster, great support unit you need this monster later on um she falls off eventually but right for right now she would be a, a great monster for you i think you should be building her um hua hua is like the best offensive monster i have to be honest i would say build her over anything else right now stop with these guys and start building her for speed and attack and give her that dot damage that she needs um Beretta, great monster. Again, th these two guys paired up. Deadly combo. Deadly combo. Um, Death Knight, you have a lot of good units here. I'm, I mean, a lot of good units that you can use. Uh, Arnold, then you've got yourself a Kato. But, well, oh my goodness. Look, so you, one, two, three. And you've got four natural five stars. And absolutely nothing to show for these guys. I, I don't know. You should. You look like you're further along progressively than me. But And you've got a lot of good units here. It just doesn't look like you're doing exactly what you should be. Which is probably the reason I doubt that you're You're probably not getting into even Giants B8, to be honest. Um, my advice for you is you've got great monsters below average runes to anywhere between below average to pretty bad runes on basically all of them. Uh, my suggestion would be take uh, take some opportunity to get rid of some of the runes on here and replace them. And um, stop trying to build so many monsters right now. You'll get overwhelmed. Anybody watching this, again, do the same thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and do two more. Uh, depending on time, maybe only be able to get one more in. We'll go ahead and stop on Audran 2016. This is another one of my friends. Uh, I have a lot of these friends who just want to become friends for my uh, Lucian rep. I'm fine with that. I don't really mind as long as they bring something. This is a tower. Um, six star max fatal. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh my god. You had the right idea. I wouldn't have gone fatal per se, but if you had to to do it, but you you blew it with the uh 246 not being percentage runes. Ladies and gentlemen, this has to be percentage otherwise you will you will have average monsters. Um he, yeah. This is a good build. Technically, I want my Konamiya to have at least 150 speed, and that's not even MLG. That's regular. Like, nothing nothing is at all excellent about that. Um, but please, put some speed on him. The HP is decent. I think you could go more if you wanted to, but I like the way it's going. The setup is straight energy. I feel like <sighs> this could have been so much better. I don't know what kind of runes you have, then I realize you have six star runes, and then this happens. Crit, you don't, what are you doing crit rate for? You don't need crit rate. You, you definitely don't need that. Replace this with a speed rune. Get these HP percent, and you will see Konamiya will double in efficiency. Um, Sigmaris, just looking at the stats. Crit damage is fantastic. 200% crit, crit damage. That's pretty great. Crit rate is 53%, so that's not really something. Oh my goodness. Um, This is the only good rune you have, and it's not 
like amazing. It's good. Um, you have another one of these guys. So this one, again, pitiful stats. He's got some speed on him, but even so, I mean, that's... You've got a lot of six-star monsters. By the looks of it, these guys don't have great stats. Um, accuracy, HP, defense. Almost was going to say you might have something rolling with them, but no. You have another Beretta. I don't know what for. Um, a lo again, a lot of these units are great. What I see most people doing is putting bad runes on them. Bad runes kill you. I'm telling you, you have another Lucian here. You have two Lucians. Um, fix, fix your runes. Don't get stuck with these runes because this is awful. I wouldn't. He wouldn't even be my first string unit. I wouldn't even use like he wouldn't be my top five units. And I only have five six star monsters. I have five star monsters that are more effective than this tower would be. So, I mean, there's your answer right there. We're going to do one more, and hopefully we have somebody who did it right. That way I can say, I can actually be jealous. I mean, I'm jealous of the monsters, not so jealous of the uh, the outcome. This is um, actually my best friend, Sky. I don't remember if I did it on him before, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for him this time again. Uh, he's, he's learned a lot since he first started. He got really, really lucky. This... Right here, you can see right off the bat, he's got plus 1,000 attack on his lag run, or lag run, whatever you want to pronounce it. Speed 30, okay, it's a weaker rune, but look how he built the substats. Look how it is speed, so he's doing something with it. This, attack 36%, again, might be a 4-star rune, but it's still better than all of their 246 runes. Still better. And then finally, attack 51%. So... Obviously, this takes the cake between all of them. And Lagmarone is my least favorite out of the three Chimeras. So, I mean, take a note out of his book. And, you know, he's an average player. He doesn't play persistently like that. Again, this guy's got even more attack. And 83% crit rate with the 80% damage, crit damage. You could get that crit damage higher, but the 83% crit rate is going in the right direction. That's exactly what you want to be doing. He's got, okay, see? This is what you should be doing when you're building. Use this type of set. I mean, th there you go. You have yourself. I mean, I was so jealous of him for this monster, but regardless, he's building these monsters right. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to do 246. He could go HP. I think you could alternate between what you wanted. I like attack on him because he, this guy, these two are really his attacking monsters. This is kind of a dungeon monster for him, kind of a, a you know, a grinding monster, whereas the, this Jaeger, or Jaeger, whatever you want to call it, probably is a little bit more um, PvP based, but still pretty powerful monster. Um, chilling, this, I know his runes suck on it, but uh, he, he does have the right set per se for his runes although you know the it's not great i do love chilling and i think that he's a great monster uh he's used seek pretty well this is about what you would expect for an average five star seek belt plus 850 i don't think you guys need to see the runes but you guys here you go i mean probably about 110 percent attack something like that uh Rauk, he's not even ruined up that's fine you don't need him at that point uh, again, Ramagos, not really ruined up. He's got some good units in here, obviously. Um, some nice stuff. So, looks like he's he's working pretty well. I'll go ahead and show you guys. I I don't know if you guys have seen the last video, but this is the example of a quote-unquote perfect nuker. This is what you want to be building your monsters like. 88% crit rate, 136% crit damage. That's not fantastic, but that's good. About 2,500 attack. His speed is low, but I built him around Chloe, which has 201 speed, meaning it doesn't matter what his speed is. As long as hers is higher than everybody else's, it's fine. Um, you can see here 51%, 51%, 57% crit damage. I could actually afford to throw that rune on there and get completely rid of a third attack slot, but if I did keep it, I would have over 3,000 attack easily. Um, then I, I got really lucky with the substats. If you guys would like to see them, you can go ahead and click pause on any of them. It doesn't matter to me. Um, and that's that's really it.
I've, like I said, I only have five six star monsters. This is my only natural five star on this account. I actually have another um, Dragonite, but it is the wind one, and that's over on some garbage account. <laughs> but he, and he's not even built well. He he has over a thousand attacks, so that's average um, for the you know the average player. I'm nowhere near the best player, but I I consider myself equipped to know you know what you're supposed to do uh, but with that being said we got to three accounts today if you guys want to see longer videos if you want to see more people uh, let me know down in the comments I looked for somebody on YouTube he sent me a message saying he wanted to see this um, and see me raid his monsters I don't know where you play I don't know what your uh, what your world is uh, so you, if you see this video leave your server down below and I'll make sure to get you in the next one thanks everybody for watching and stay tuned for more Stay classy and peace out.